Are you old or injured or fragile or slow or weak or do you just suck at punching and do you want to box people that are not all those things? You might not be able to overcome them with like physical attributes though we'll talk about how to use your strength here in a second but you can be craftier, you can be meaner, and you can be dirtier. I'm gonna show you the blank number of the dirtiest dirty boxing techniques I know. Now proceed with caution because these range anywhere from frowned upon and unsportsmanlike in some gyms when it comes to sparring to downright illegal in some rule styles. All I need is a little bit of space. Put one of them arm punches in there, man. Arm punches are okay if they land. An arm punch is okay if it would land when a real punch wouldn't. Yeah, ask Canelo. Does he arm punch? He tore that guy's bicep. Not punches in the arm. Oh, you said arm punches. Arm punches, like, you know, like, arm punches. Oh, oh. Punches using your arms. Oh. God. Oh. I'm just meaner. That's just my mentality. That's not enough. Like you have to have some skill. So there has to be some thought that goes into this stuff. One of the ways you can do this, if you are like, maybe you're not as fast. Like I'm not as fast as Nate, but I'm way stronger. So one way that I can use my advantages is he wants to box with me and he's boxing the right way, which means he has his hands up and he's throwing combinations. Oh, I don't want to do none of that shit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put gravity and my muscles on my side and I'm gonna weigh on his arms. One of the ways I can do that is, and there's a million different ways you could get to this point. What I like to do is I like to shoot out and cover his hands first and then collapse in. And I wanna hang on him and I'm using my lats and pulling down and he's trying to use his little, tiny little shoulders and pick his hands up. And what I can do from here, now you can't just hold someone forever because we're in boxing gloves, though you can do more with these than you think. I'll explain that in a second. I'm weighing on him the whole time. And he, in order for him to move to punch me, he has to make a big overt move. He has to push me off like this. I wore him out, he had to use energy and I didn't. This can also work if maybe their guard's not quite as tight and you get to the inside and I can kind of play him like a marionette puppet. And again, like I, I'm pulling down on him, gravity's on my side, my lap muscles are on my side. He's using deltoids and stuff, which is, which is far weaker. He's gotta lift his arms, right? Or he's gotta try to punch me. And anytime he tries to punch me, I have control, and if he tries to do a big move to get out of here, or whatever, I don't know, I'll feel it because I, I have like that inside position. Real quick aside, with both of these positions, it's not impossible for him to punch me from in here. Uh, you know, I can feel that it's coming, but I can punch him. And a lot of the punches that we're gonna do off of this stuff, they won't be pretty punches. They won't be like perfect punches, right? They won't be like picture perfect. They're gonna be ugly, sometimes we'll be off balance, sometimes we'll be using arm muscle. That's okay because we're scoring. So from here, I can punch him, significantly harder for him to punch me. From the inside, I can punch him, significantly harder for him to punch me. And they're just gonna be short, little, mean, dirty shots. So sometimes if you're just practicing and you're just like sparring with the homies, they'll get a little annoyed. You know, if we're supposed to be throwing our good stuff and trying to set stuff up, and I'm just like, nah, I don't wanna do that. I'm just gonna jam my punches in there. <laughs> That's not exactly the most productive use of our time. I'm going to show you another little dirty trick. Everyone thinks when we got boxing gloves on that we can't grab anything. But you have a little more manual dexterity in here than you realize. Maybe his hands are a little lower and we end up in here. And whether we're jockeying for position or, or whatever, I'm going to get this little nubule right here, right down here on his elbow. There's this little, this little, this little doohickey here. You know when it rolls around, it feels like, ooh, goosh. You can grab that with this. You can lock it in there, right? And it's just, I'm just doing this, all right? It's just this right here. You don't have to really get a hold of him. Just like this. Now, since we're talking about muscles, I can't just use my chest muscles against Nate's back muscles. You know, he, uh, I can't. He's, he's at least stronger than me that way. What I can do is I can throw this thing like a hook and turn my body to push, right? So if we're, have an exchange and we crash together and he tries to bump me, I push out of the way. Now, if I try to reset, he's gonna be resetting and then I'm too late. So I'm gonna throw a mean, ugly, dirty shot. We come together, I push, pop, like that. Ooh, that was, that was a little excessive, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got excited. <laughs> Another benefit is 
they're gonna be breathing in sometimes when this happens because you're not supposed to hit me then. It's supposed to be like, boom, we push. Now we can fight again. Boom, boom, boom. But we come together, push, pop. End up crashing together, push, pop. Real quick, real sudden, real dirty. Now you can also do this, you don't have to push the elbow, we can row that elbow too. We're doing a lot of muscle stuff today. Basically, we're trying to pit our back against their shoulders. Later, I'm gonna show you how to put your ass muscles against their neck muscles. If I can reach over, maybe if you got this hand sort of low, like we're in lazy and we're in tight like this, you can reach across like this and pull. This one's a little more overt. You might get called on this by some refs, I think. I think that's probably illegal, right? If I pull like this. That's illegal? I don't know. I don't, I don't compete in boxing. I like boxing, but I don't know the rules of it. Oh, you're speaking about boxing. Oh. Uh, yeah. Everything's illegal in boxing. It doesn't matter if the ref's over there where those heavy bags are. And I, and I get you to drop this hand right here. That one. Oh. Doofus, they're, they're right there. I reach over here and pull like this. I get hit like that. And again, what I can't do is like fully reset. I can't like sting him here and get him blocking that. Then reach, pull, reset, and then try to land it, right? It's gotta be like a boom, like that. It's gotta be a quick bop, I might use a little more arm than I would on a regular punch. But wait, it gets dirtier. We're gonna use our knees in this boxing exchange. What the hell are you talking about, Mike? We're gonna use knees in a boxing exchange. Like, oh, we're boxing, right? No, we're knee. That's not what I'm talking about. We're gonna do a little Elvis action. Now this one, I, I probably, it probably is illegal. Uh, definitely illegal. I, this one's probably illegal in boxing. Definitely. It's definitely okay in Muay Thai, but, oh, yeah. but we can do it off of this little elbow push, right? I'm gonna match up my VMO to his VMO. Boom, like this. Now my leg is much bigger and stronger than Nate's, but we'll pretend it's not. I can't match, if he's heavy on it, I can't match muscle for muscle. I, I don't wanna arm wrestle him with my legs. What? What I need to do is I need to get him a little light, right? I don't have to push him all the way over. I just have to take a little bit of weight off of that front foot. So what I'm gonna do is push a little bit of his weight onto that back foot and then I just stanky leg him. Boom. <laughs> stanky leg. Do the stanky leg. Do the stanky leg. We come together. I get him a little light. Just like this. I use, think about when you're uh, trying to move a couch or refrigerator by yourself. You don't go like this. Right? What do you do? You bring yourself all the pins, man. All the pins and push them, push them over. You push, come on, man. You push them over. You push right up against them. Use your leg of muscles to push that thing in there. I mean, that, that. Come here. Come on. This thing's falling apart here. I get heavy and just get a little bit of weight off of his front foot, just enough that I can move it. And where I'm pushing, again, you have a little more manual dexterity than you think, right? I'm pushing, get him light on that foot. I'm pushing here, you can do this off the elbow push too, right, and just move him a little. You just need him to take the one step, right? I get him like this, and he just whoop, like that. Bing, bing, bing. He's, got, he's gonna try to get himself back together before he starts his offense or his defense but you can push right here. Get a good handle, especially if he's been doing his pull-ups like he's supposed to and he's got any kind of lat right there. We get a good little shelf, right? And I'm using the palm of my glove or you can use your fist or whatever or you can use your head a little bit and get a little bit of weight off of that front foot, right? And I'm gonna go, boom! It's the same motion as throwing a hook. Boom, boom, and you throw it like a combo. If you're boxing, don't make this like a big overt, like judo throw or Muay Thai sweep attempt. Don't try to make it a Greco-Roman wrestling match, you'll get called, right? But what we need to do is we need to make it, boom, 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 ish, 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 ish. <laughs> got you for real. This foot got stuck for real. Uh, it's gotta be like, just like, oh, I just was doing my thing, I'm just, Doing my thing, if it happens, it happens. All right, the last one, I'm gonna headbutt him. Not on purpose, I'm not trying to headbutt you. That would be, uh, you know, dangerous and illegal and wrong. <laughs> but I'm not trying to not headbutt you. Yeah, okay. 
Because that's just not my problem, not my problem, and not my problem. Mm. I'm using my stellar head movement and defense, and he's jamming, I'm rolling, I'm boom, I'm dropping, you know? I like to, this is my favorite moment to do it, is if I drop straight, like you throw a jab and I drop straight, which not a lot of people do, but it, it works. And I like to just get my head position, right? I just like to go from here to here. I'm not trying to make contact, I'm not trying to hit him. But if he dies, he dies, right? I just go boom, like this. Now the cool part when you get this head position is for him to hit me with what the kind of stuff that he would want to hit me with. He has to make a big overt move. He has to create some space. He has to maybe turn and angle off like a check hook. Yeah, or something like that. For me though, I can just go boom, 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 boom. And I can still even hit him up top, boom. Little insider tip, dirty boxing secret. You don't have to go like this and see where his head is. If my head is here, I know where his head is, all right? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, you wanna block the body because you're not in danger of headshots, right? All right? You don't have to look up, but you wanna get that head position. All right, put, a, put this hand here, sorry, I'm coming, I'm coming like a wrecking ball, all right? So, I'm moving, carrying, blocking, boom, 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 Like that. You know you do that all the time. Yeah, what else am I gonna do? Yeah. Outscore you? Hey, dude. Well, am I gonna wonder boy you? Yeah. Right? <laughs> and when I call it, hey. Hey. <laughs> no, man, we're gonna like this right here. Yeah. <laughs> no, you throw, oh, you throw a right hand. You don't, don't show him the. <laughs> but if you like this kind of dirty boxing stuff, one of our courses on Teachable is a whole dirty boxing seminar we did. It's one of our most popular seminar curriculums. I'll link that down below. It's shot from the perspective of a participant. So you get to kind of see what it's like to be at one of these seminars. Lots of little dirty tricks like this, plus like more details about how to actually do it. But the two bonus tips. When he's doing something he's not supposed to be doing, I'm do something I'm not supposed to be doing, all right? When he reaches, to try to tie me up with like not a real underhook, like a wrestling underhook, but just sometimes something like this. If you lock this thing up, they'll try to pull it back, right? Just like a monkey, a monkey trap. He can't get that hand back because he's wearing these big poofy gloves, right? Just give him one, right? Just give him one, boop, and then let it go. Don't hold on to it. That's a real asshole move. Like don't hold on to it, right? But when you get tied up, he starts to put that in there, push like this, boom, and then move on. Right? Same thing if they go up top, they're trying to pull down on your head. Not a proper like collar tie or anything, but sometimes they'll just get your hand up here, trap that thing like this, give them one, and move on. Now if they won't let go. How is it dirty though? Wouldn't it be like somebody not, catches a No, kid? no, because no, in boxing and stuff and oh, you know, this, yeah, you're holding on you're holding on their gloves. I'm thinking different contexts. You're holding on to your gloves and this is his MMA training. Like if you're training MMA and big gloves, this wouldn't happen really in MMA. Yeah. It's sort of an artifice of using the gloves. It's a, it's a Exploit of the training methodology. It's not really like Part of any sport, okay. but in sparring like you're trying to hurt each other in creative ways It's an expression of my martial art. He's doing something. He's not supposed to be doing if we're boxing He's not supposed to be doing that. So I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna do this shit. Wait, let's go All right See, let's go on the first one. I'll just give him one. If he reaches underneath, all right I'm gonna get, hold on to this hand. He'll be trying to like mm, give, him, give him back. I give him one and then let him go Whenever he's trying to get it back. I'll give him one and let it go All right, but if you get real stubborn and hang on to that, right? I'm just gonna hold on to it. And then when you pull away, I give you one more to discourage that, right? <laughs> what do you think about these techniques? Do they have a place in gentlemanly training? Are they unsportsmanlike? Are they illegal in your rule set? Are they maybe borderline, things you could get away with depending on the ref? Because that's gonna factor in a lot. What's the ref, what kind of ref you got? Is he paying attention? Is he drunk? Did you pay him off? You know, is he on your side? Like you might could get it. What? I didn't know they do that. <laughs> Remember I said we're talking about boxing.